was the be best teammate to start my career in Formula One. I learned so many things from him and uh, I really enjoy all these years. You know, uh, we had a great relationship since uh, 2017 when we were in Ferrari. He's uh, obviously a big, big star in, in Finland. Uh, he's a bit of a legend. For sure, he had an impact on me as a, as a youngster. I was following him closely when he started in Formula One. I was following his season when he won the World Championship. Um, at that time, I was doing my first season in single seaters in Formula Renault when he won his his title with Ferrari. He's one of the most popular drivers and has been for years. And I mean, even me, after whatever, 10, 11 years in the sport, do I honestly know where I stand with Kimi? No, because <laughs> there's very few words, but uh, it's funny. And uh, yeah, for sure, uh, yeah, one of a kind in, uh, in the most complimentary way possible. You know, he's one of the guys who's made Formula One what it is today. Since, uh, since many years ago. The last champion with Ferrari, that, uh, that's quite a, a big uh, achievement. Well, you know, there is only one Kimi and the uh, thing is very unique. So I think uh, clearly is going to be missed by uh, all the people in the paddock. He's just a legend of this ball for forever, uh, whether it's on track or off track. Uh, his personality has always been uh, different and, and, and great to, to see. When I heard the, the news, it was obviously quite sad, saddening because I was looking forward to driving another year uh, on the same grid as him. I remember before I got to Formula 1 being a huge fan of Kimmy's and when I played the computer games, I'd always be in Kimmy's car. And to then to this crazy experience of racing against him, losing a championship to him and um, and then seeing you know great lots of lots of great battles um, so he will be missed what was it like going wheel to wheel with Kimmy Kimmy was one of the one of the better drivers to go up it, it was it was tough but very very fair and you just knew that he was one of the most skillful drivers here I think he's been a uh... Uh, yeah, a great thing for Formula One. I think Formula One without Kimi would have been a bit different over the last uh, 20 years. I think he's been around. When I was a fan of the sport growing up, you know, I remember he was young and fast. Like that was that was the image. And it's been nice also racing with him because he's one of one of the drivers that when when you race with, um, you're, you're quite quite comfortable. You know, going wheel to wheel, and uh, he's always had good respect to to his competition and that's that's the way I like racing as well. So. Yeah, we will miss him because obviously he has been, uh, you know, for many years and we had great battles uh, in the past more because we had more competitive cars and we were fighting for championships and, and podiums and things like that. Always fair, always respectful, always uh, uh, a tough competitor, but uh, all is cool. So always very fair and, and no tricks. So in that aspect, I think uh, yeah, I will miss him because you know you 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 knew that you could trust Kimi when you were side by side because he will never do any any crazy thing or, or anything that put in danger uh, any of the two. I remember looking up to him um, in in the early early days, you know, uh, with the fights that he had with Fernando. I um, think, yeah, he can be extremely proud of what he's achieved in the sport. I kind of remember like my first memories from watching F1, uh, yeah, from the 2002, 2003. So Kimi was already there and uh, yeah, it's been, uh, you know, pretty uh, incredible to grow up um, from year to year in karting, watching all these guys racing and Kimi was uh, part of them and then ended up in Formula One racing against, uh, against him, so. The first time I ever spoke to Kimi, the conversation ended with him twisting my nipples. So, <laughs> at the FIA gala in 2018. So, uh, <laughs> uh, no, he's, he's one of a kind, um, huge amount of respect for everything he's achieved on track and off circuit as well, you know, he's a bit of a legend. You know, we, we don't talk much with Kimi, he doesn't talk much to, to anybody, but clearly, yeah, we will miss him and, uh, and yeah, the fights I had with him were, were great and he's an amazing driver. I wish him the best for, for his future. He has done a lot for the sport, he has enjoyed his time here and I just want to wish him the very best with his uh, lovely family, you know, and um, yeah, just enjoy the next chapter of his life and uh, I don't expect to see him around, but... Uh, uh, I'm sure that he, he'll be around somewhere.
yeah, I wish him all the best in his retirement and whatever else he he, uh, he wants to do in life. As, as you said, I'm sure there's a, a, he has still a, a lot more life to, to live outside of motorsports. So uh, yeah, very uh, very cool. Yeah, for, uh, congratulations for a great career. Now I guess he will have a bit more time to spend with his wonderful family. You know that they're, that they are great and uh, yeah, I still wish to see him around and to yeah and to spend some time together with him in the future. One day I would love to emulate him in a way. For sure, he'll be he'll be missed. There's no one like him. What will you guys miss about Kimmy? Exactly that. The silence. <laughs> the silence. <laughs> the awkward silence. <laughs> so don't get me wrong, I wasn't thinking that was actually my planned answer. <laughs>